Hey y'all, welcome back to another hunting ammo ballistics gel test, except today we're doing something a little different. This is not a hunting ammo, this is personal protection. Today we're gonna be shooting Spear Gold Dot Personal Protection, their 150 grain load and 308 Winchester. All right y'all, here's that box for that Spear Gold Dot Personal Protection ammunition, 150 grain 308 Winchester, interesting stuff. Now there is a little bit of promo information right here it just talks about the gold dot bullet feel free to stop pause and read all that if you would like and flipping it around to the other side it does say a few things over here optimized for peak fbi protocol performance through barrels shorter than 16 inches now we will be shooting this through my ruger american with a 22 inch barrel so it'll be interesting to see what kind of velocity we get out of a 22 inch barrel and then it talks about being able to penetrate through berries we're not going to be doing that i'm just shooting it into ballistics gel some other things right here let's flip it around to the back there's really no promo info just a bunch of warnings and stuff and then there also is no velocity stated on the box anywhere that i can find so we will be measuring it of course with a chronograph and we'll see how fast this stuff goes let's go ahead and open up the box and take a look at it very reminiscent of federal your federal ammo typically comes in these plastic holders that look like this also, it has that blue primer sealant on there that Federal Ammo has. Wouldn't be surprised if this is manufactured by Federal. So let's go ahead and pull one out. Nickel plated brass case. And there's your 150 grain gold dot bullet. Let's go shoot it and see how it does. And real quick, if you're watching this video anytime around when it came out, I'm having a huge sale on my website, masonleather.com. Go check it out and get yourself something. And my test rifle today is my Ruger American Standard, chambered in 308 Winchester, of course. It has a 22-inch barrel. I did have it threaded so I could use a Silencer Co. Hybrid 46 suppressor. And coming on back, I've got it topped off with a Vortex Diamondback 4 to 16 by 42 scope. Definitely helps see the gel blocks down there. And of course, I've got one of my handmade leather cartridge cuffs on the buttstock. Check out my website, masonleather.com. I would love to make you one. And I've also got one of my super thick Latigo leather slings on there. Those are also available on my website. And coming around to the other side, I've got to show you my whitetail deer design. We'll be taking three shots from 100 yards, firing into 10% ballistics gel that has been calibrated to meet the FBI's ballistics testing protocol. And while ballistics gel isn't an exact proxy for big game, it does provide a repeatable medium through which to test various bullets and ammo against each other. After the shots, we'll examine bullet expansion, weight retention, penetration, and velocity. My goal is to provide hunters like you and I with the most objective information possible to help us make the best choice for our particular hunting situation. The ballistics gel in this video has been sourced from Clear Ballistics. You can find a link in the description. So let's go ahead and shoot it. And here are your velocities for that gold dot personal protection 150 grain load out of the 308, minimum 2815, max 2832, average 2822. And we are down here at the blocks after shooting that spear gold dot personal protection 150 grain load out of the 308. And we captured two bullets in the block and then one right there. It popped right out the seam. It traveled, I can trace the path. It went right to the seam, dead in the middle of the block. And when these blocks were expanding out during the shot, it popped right out. So we're gonna count that as penetration right on the seam. That's hilarious. So penetration wise on that one right there, we're gonna give it, we're gonna round it to 15 and a half. It's closer to 15 and a half to 16. And I'm not playing with the other, you know, five eighths, three quarters and stuff in the middle. We'll give that one 15 and a half. And then these two right here, there's one right there at the 19 inch mark. And this one is right at the 20 inch mark. And as we can see with this bullet that's right out here that popped out of the block conveniently for us, absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal expansion. What does this look like, y'all? Looks like Federal Fusion, doesn't it? Or you might say that Federal Fusion looks like this with the gold dot bullet. Anyway, I think this is about what we're looking at is, you know, a Federal Fusion 150 grain load, being that the bullets, as far as I can tell, are the same thing. And the other two bullets look like they expanded just as well. Beautiful star patterns. Pretty decent penetration. A little deep for personal protection in my estimation. About perfect for white-tailed deer though. Let's go back and take a look at the first block. Great wound cavities that open up. I'm going to give it right about there. About just past the one inch mark they start to open up. Nice and wide twisty wound cavities. Nasty stuff. Looks just like what? Federal fusion. Tapers off by about the 10 to 11 inch mark and 
then they just keep on penetrating through. This is some good stuff. And here I came around to the other side of the block. The glare makes it a little tough to see, but you can kind of see those wound tracks in there. Beautiful star pattern wound tracks. This stuff will definitely get the job done on anything you need it to as long as you don't need it to go deeper than about right there let's go ahead and dig those two out and take a look all right y'all we've got the bullets out of the blocks let's go ahead and talk about everything the spear gold dot 150 grain load out of the 308 winchester weight retention 143 145 and 146 grains for an average of 145 grains retained weight that works out to 96 percent weight retention expansion 0 0.74 0 0.82 and 0 0.83 inches for an average of 0.8 inches expanded diameter that's 2.6x expansion and just look at the photo of these bullets these things are monsters they got big they got wide none of them are particularly inconsistent the one on the right there is a little bit jagged out with one of the pedals but excellent performance weight retention and expansion wise out of this load so far velocity wise we saw 2833 for the high 2815 for the low for an average of 2823 versus the factory build velocity of 2820 so we came in three feet per second faster than box spec on average I love to see it. I wish we'd see it more often. I'm glad we got it here. And our estimated velocity down there at 100 yards at impact is about 2,625 feet per second. Penetration wise, a little bit variable. We had 15 and a half inches, 19 inches, and 20 inches for an average of about 18 inches of penetration. That's getting right up there to the 20 inch mark I like to see out of medium game hunting ammo. This isn't specifically marketed as medium game hunting ammo, but I think we all know that this is basically the same stuff that's in the Federal Fusion 150 grain box, which definitely is medium game hunting ammo because across the board, I went back and checked all of my numbers for the 150 grain Federal Fusion load and it is almost identical across the board. The expansion is actually almost identical. The weight retention is identical. The velocity is almost identical, and the penetration average is actually identical. So it's basically the same stuff. Kinetic energy-wise, with a 150-grain bullet going on average 2,823 feet per second, we're looking at 2,645 foot-pounds at the muzzle and about 2,295 foot-pounds down there at 100 yards. Pretty par for the course for a 150 grain load out of a 308. And a quick announcement before we get to my final thoughts. If you'd like early access to my videos weeks and even months in advance of everyone else, become a channel member. The links will be in the video description and the pinned comment. Thanks, y'all. All right, y'all, it's time for my final thoughts on that Spear Gold Dot 150 grain load out of the 308 Winchester. It's basically Federal Fusion. It's the, the, the specs, the metrics, it's all the same. The performance is identical. The only difference that I can tell is that this stuff comes with a nickel plated case as opposed to just the regular brass case. So basically we're talking about Federal Fusion here. Or maybe with Federal Fusion we're talking about Gold Dot depending on how you want to explain it. Regardless, I think this would be an absolutely excellent hunting load for your standard medium game, deer, hogs, stuff like that. As far as, you know, a personal protection self-defense load, which is what it says on the box, it says personal protection, um, it's not, it would not be my first choice. It penetrates a bit too much. I want something that's not going to go through anything more than I intend it to go through. Uh, something like the Hornady Tap Urban Load that I've recently tested. I'm not sure if that video is out yet, but I think that might be a better option for, you know, personal protection in a 308 Winchester. But for hunting, I think this would be great. So if you've used this load on game or in any other scenario, let me and everyone else know in the comments how it did for you. And check out my website, masonleather.com, and get yourself some leather gear handmade by me just for you. I've been handcrafting leather gear for hunters for over a decade, and I would love to make you something. And there are hundreds of reviews on my website, so you can see what real hunters have to say about their mason leather gear. And also, tons of photos showing all the customizable options, including name, initial, and caliber stamping, as well as wild game designs and more. Everything is handmade by me right here in the USA. I would love to be a part of your hunt through my leather gear. And it helps support this channel, so I can bring you more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests, and lots of other cool stuff in the future. The link will be in the video description and the pinned comment, or you can just type masonleather.com into your web browser. And click one of these cards for more hunting ammo ballistics gel tests.